Hello everyone, this is Olive Branch and welcome back to Let's Play Populous, The Beginning. In the last episode we finished off world number 7, Unseen Enemy, and today we are moving on to world number 8, Continental Divide. I have three challenges to complete for this video, so I'm going to begin and let you know what they are during the flyby. So today's story. We have a new follower to pick up in this map, the Fire Warriors. The Fire Warriors are ranged troops. They can fire sh uh, fire at the enemies and kill them from afar. Our shaman suggests that we can use we can worship some stone heads to get tornado and magical shield, but we cannot use the spells even if we wanted to because of the challenges I've chosen. Today's challenges are Pacifist Shaman by Gnome Seven, where I have to conquer this world without using the shaman and her spells against the enemy. Circumnavigation by Zebrin, where I have to build a village that goes all the way around the world. And I Let You Live by Lord Ventnor, where I have to rush the enemy village early on and kill them, but not kill them. I have to let them get back to strength and then kill them. So first things first, I'm going to send all nine of my braves over here to build a preacher hut. And I'm going to want a warrior hut up as soon as possible as well. But I'm going to set up some guard towers ahead of time so that I can build a circumnavigation challenge. I wonder if my braves can get up here. They probably can. Uh, all the way around the world, which would mean over here. Then over here. Here. Over here. And over here. And, oh dear me, it looks like we're getting attacked by warriors. Well, that means we're going to have to send our shaman to uh, attack the... Uh, steal the secrets of the fire warriors after we get some preacher support. I can live with that. Alright, so I'm going to send a couple of my braves over here to become preachers. And the rest are going to have to become warriors. Or rather, the rest are going to have to keep building huts and such. Even though the, the challenge says not to use the spells against the enemy, and these wild men and converted could theoretically become the enemy, there is another challenge that involves not converting any braves, and I'm saving that for a later video. Wouldn't you? So what I want to do is I want to send some preachers over to guard my shaman and protect her, when she goes to worship this vault of knowledge. Let's try this again. No dying this time. I'm gonna send a couple of braves to each of the guard tower uh, plans so that they may build a village that goes all the way around the world. We got one over here. That's two for this one, two for this one. Two for this one. And there we go, my preacher has gotten there in the way, interrupting the warriors from attacking my shaman. Good. I'm gonna send these two warriors over here to start wrecking some some, uh, some enemy braves. So it's time now to begin building. The circumnav circumnavigation. Start building a village that goes all the way around the world. Alright, what we just stole here is, are the plans for the Fire Warrior Training Hut. I'm gonna build I'm gonna build it just to uh, show what the Fire Warriors look like. Chances are we're not gonna we're not gonna use them though because uh, Maybe we'll even we'll uh, we'll damage the enemy just with fight with enough warriors and preachers. All right, I'm gonna leave these huts over here alive so that she has enough the the Kini have enough braves to use afterward. Notice that the enemy shaman got in the fight. Bad idea for her. 
Alright, and I think that's enough. The enemy only has about five braves standing, and I don't want to kill them all off yet. So that's enough. Let's pull them back. With three braves standing and four huts built, they're pretty much weakened by now. I really could just crush them if I wanted to. Alright. Let's start building huts that go all the way around the world. Oops, wait. Have to reposition this one. There we go. Go. to convert some more braves. And my brave over here is already shattering this, uh, this hut. Since he's here, I might as well use him to shatter the other huts. Yeah, and there's, there's a Dakini Fire Warrior right there. They wear skulls on their head and have fire in their hands, which they use to blast us. The blast is knockback, so it's a bit dangerous to our shamans and braves. Warriors and preachers are not affected by the fireballs, but every other type of follower is. And I'm gonna build a, a couple just so we have our own. And these warriors, I'm gonna put them in guard mode as well. Actually, no, I'm not. My shaman is gonna move over here. And everyone's gonna just stay up here to protect in case the Kini think to try anything, anything funny. Hey. I am not going to attack them until we have built our village around the world. Let's see here. Okay. We got a good plan going. Uh, I need to put some braves on this duty over here. And we have some fire warriors ready to go. I'm going to put them on a guard duty. Our shaman can just stay at home and rest. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm gonna stick her in one of these huts all by herself. Hey. No, better idea. Convert more braves. There we go. Make building faster. Look at all these. Look at all these wildmen just waiting. Waiting to become faithful braves. It's lovely. Okay, now where did I build? Where did I put another plan? Ah, here's another plan over here. There we go. And I build another one over here so I can have a hut that kind of intercedes between these. There's another hut. There's another one. Oh uh, wait, I'm going the wrong way here. There we go. Oh, we have a fight. Somehow this brave managed to tear down this house with nobody interrupting him. And I have no idea why my braves are go- Oh! That guy just got fire blasted. Let me show you what happens when fire- There we go, see what happens? That's what happens when fire warriors pick a fight. They're really shitty in one-on-one -on -one combat though, and really should not fight at all. The only reason these Braves are losing right now is because this Fire Warrior up here is blasting them and giving support to our guys on the ground. And if you notice, Braves do get knocked back when they got shot, when they got shot with fire, but not Preachers. We 
gonna send in my uh, my fire warriors here just to take care of other the others. And this guy's just rolling along. Alright, that's enough. Gotta pull them back and let them live. And here comes another fire warrior. Clearly think he can take us on. That's one fire warrior down. Oh well. How's the building coming along? Ah, these three finally got over here. Good. Okay, these guys are gonna have to keep building huts now. Get to it, guys. Let's see. Alright, this this settlement is done. So I can build a hut right here. Perfect. I can build another one right here. Uh, wait, no, it's too close. Shit. Okay, there we go, that's better. And I can build another one over here. Another one over here. Let's see, I want to actually, no, I don't want to build this way. I want to build this way. Make a nice big ring. That's eventually going to be all full of huts. Lovely. And our fire warrior alert went off. Because one of our one of these fire warriors is shooting at our warrior. How rude. I should really put my, my guard post closer. I'm gonna tell my followers to move that to that one instead. There we go. Now our my, now our fire warriors can shoot back anyone that tries to do funny business. What are you doing over here, dude? Go get to work. Oh, a fight just occurred, I guess, between the guard posts. And apparently it ended in our favor, of course. It looks like we have, uh... They're trying to train into becoming warriors and fire warriors up here. Now, how am I gonna... Yep, yep. My warriors just went down to pick a fight. And this one's gonna get himself killed. Better idea. I should just pull my guys back over here. That's safer. Now, the thing about fire warriors is that they're not that damaging alone. A single fire warrior is not gonna be able to kill a warrior before he gets within range to slice his throat open. The problem becomes when our warrior is tangled with some other guys and the fire warrior is just taking pot shots at him. Over time, that is gonna hurt. And it will kill him. Alright, we have one nice thing to bring our houses over here. I'm gonna have to dismantle this house, or this tower, so I can make more houses. There we go. Because now that we have a settlement built, we have ho uh, homes built around it, we can tear down the tower and build in its place. And do the same thing with this one. So tear down this house, guys. There we go. Alright, we have... we can fill up this space over here. 
Hey! Alright, so that's pretty much one challenge completed. Uh, I Let You Live by Lord Ventnor. At any point uh, we want, I can just go ahead and rush and destroy what's left of the enemy. But, we have to complete the houses first. Nice circumnavigation. Prove that the world is round. Build a guard tower up here. All right, I like this. It's very pretty. Hey, why are you standing over there? Just do something. Hey, feel that call? Fight it ends, of course, in our favor. And these guys are gonna get ganked by this fire warrior. So let's let's take some preemptive action against him. There. And this warrior, okay, this warrior is trouble. If he catches up, we're doomed. Okay, we're doomed. He's, he alone can take down all four braves. Look at that. Well, that was a bad idea. Mm, what's left? What's left? Yeah, just this house which is being built, and this guard tower which nobody has gotten to yet. I don't know why. I wonder what route they're taking to get to it. Meh. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna build. Ah, it's these guys we're trying to build it. I guess that means that they can't reach the guard tower. Oh well. Well, I can't reach the guard tower, but we pretty much have built... Almost, almost, here we go. Just so we can say we're close. There, just so we can say that we have built a circumnavigated environment. See? What a pretty row of houses. Let's finish this off. I'm gonna send some guys here to train. Become warriors, a big fire warrior push, a couple of preachers, more warriors. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put everybody into some sort of training regimen or other. And apparently it says that some guys can't read. Well, tell you what, just go back in there then, cowards. Well, I only care about the fate of these braves, to be honest. Except for this creature over here. I'm not gonna let him survive. And the bees come out. Well, if this wasn't proof that we need to get our uh, an attack going, the, the Kini are back in strength. So all that's left now is pacifist shaman. I basically just have to keep my shaman nice and tidy, tucked in here to not get in the way and then let our followers become super warriors. What's this? Ah, yes, it's just telling us to, uh, how to convert fire warriors. Well, no big deal here. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You not? A fun thing is that as soon as our preachers start preaching to an enemy, if the fire warriors were shooting at them, they will stop to allow the preachers to convert them peacefully. That is a pretty good uh, AI if you ask me. It's pretty decent of it. And because warriors are, uh, fire warriors are ranged followers, the, the more elevated they are, the more reach they have on their fireballs. I think it also does more damage. I better convert this guy. I don't know why he completely ignored him, but there we go. He caught up. I'm gonna send my entire troop over here. Let's all kill the shaman.
just got shot out. Fire warriors are not the best at destroying enemy structures, but they do add up some good damage. If left, if they're if they're uh, not doing anything, they will just automatically shoot at nearby buildings. At the rate this is going, yep, yep. Here come the rest of the brigade. The Dakini are proper fucked. I'm just gonna send them all to destroy these huts. Finish off the Dakini once and for all. Look at what happens when fire warriors get their hands on a shaman. <laughs> it just knocked back her the entire the entirety of her. All right, and this is really that's it. That is all. Fire warriors, of course, being new, they shoot their fireballs in the air in celebration. The Dakini, even after we gave them the chance, we rushed them early on, let them rebuild, they still could not face the might of dedicated followers. Good job, Shaman. And of course, we have our circumnavigated village. Very pretty, if you ask me. Alright, and with that, we have completed Continental Divide. This was a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward level. We lost exactly, or a little bit less than half than the f fights we won. We destroyed plenty of the enemy. We lost quite a number of followers, mostly due to, uh, errant braves running to the north to try to build the big, uh, the big globe to circumnavigate it. And we raided the Vault of Knowledge of the Fire Warriors. From now on, we can use Fire Warriors in the future to get a ranged attack follower. They're very useful, and we will be seeing them more of them later on. This is Olive Branch, and I hope you enjoyed this level. I will catch you next time. See ya!